So I want to answer a question I get a lot, which is which programming language should I learn if I'm new to programming? What should I learn first? It's really popular right now to use Python. So it's used in machine learning and it's used by a lot of data scientists. So these are people that are kind of doing a lot of research and, and you know, if you want to be on just like the cutting edge of that stuff or even to pull that stuff into like a back end to use cutting edge technology and AI, you probably want some background in Python. Now that's not to say that Python is the best language for a beginner to learn, although it is a beginner friendly language. But I will say uh, it might be a good place to start because it's user friendly, it's beginner friendly, but I think it hides a lot of complexity. So uh, Python uses something called a significant white space. What that means is just putting a couple of spaces or a tab or even a carriage return on your keyboard, all that's gonna have significant meaning to the operation of the program. I still find that a little bit confusing. There are certain things that I try to do in Python and then I realize I'm gonna need more than one line and then there's a, a lambda or a closure or whatever you wanna call it. And it, I feel like I run into little problems like that here and there. And those problems don't exist when you can just use curly braces or uh, parentheses or things like that. So Python kinda of has that drawback. JavaScript, you can deploy it just about anywhere. Anywhere that has a JavaScript environment, that means pretty much every browser in the world. They don't all run exactly the same feature set for JavaScript, but they're close enough and they're compiled to transpilers that allow you to write in modern JavaScript and get compatible JavaScript out. And you can just use some of that stuff. Uh, it's not necessarily easy to set up for the first time, but once you get it set up, it's, it's a one-time process. There's a lot of skeleton projects out there in Boilerplate to sort of solve this problem for you. JavaScript is also uh, the language of choice for front-end because we have the React library. Uh, some people still you know, live by other libraries, but I would say that React is sort of the biggest up and coming kind of um, standard. It's not up and coming, I mean, it's everywhere, but it's, it's something that I think is gonna turn into like the standard for developing applications, if that's not already happened. If you want to do mobile applications, I'd highly recommend starting on iOS because it's easier than Android. Uh, and, and I mean that it's easier in that the writing the code process is simpler because there are fewer devices with fewer caveats. Um, iOS, you have to have a Mac to write for, so you have to take that into consideration. If getting a Mac is a big hurdle for you or a big problem, then you know maybe writing for Android is actually simpler in that your setup is simpler, but the code is still gonna be kind of more complex because there's just more uh, edge cases to deal with. So if you're wanting to work on mobile, you can do React Native, you can write in JavaScript, and that's what a lot of people are doing right now. You're not really getting the true native experience though, so I'd recommend taking a look into iOS programming. You can write in Objective-C or Swift. I'd recommend you know poking around Objective-C a little bit and then moving into Swift pretty quickly if that's what you want to do as mobile. For backend programming, I would say that the Go language uh, and C Sharp and Java.net are all kind of um, peers right now. You know, you could find different companies using one or the other. I personally would just go with the Go language. Uh, some people would suggest Rust. Rust is a very type safe language. Uh, it can be a little tricky to use. I would not necessarily recommend someone use Rust if they're new to programming. Uh, there's kind of a lot of complex ideas and you're gonna, you're gonna wanna have a good firm grasp of programming before you move into Rust. I'm sure that Rust fans would disagree with me and one wanna say, well, actually it's quite simple. It's, it's really not. If you, if you write in Rust, uh, you really need to kind of know what you're doing or you're just, it's, gonna, it's not gonna be productive for you. Um, Go language is very simple language. I think you could pick it up a lot faster and it accomplishes a lot of the same goal, goals as the Rust language. So I'd probably just recommend the Go language. So as you may have picked up on during that video, I am sick. I don't know why I started you know, making videos on a day that I am actually sick. I'm kind of just getting back into this flow of making content again. So let me know what you think. And uh, if you like it, you know, definitely subscribe. Leave a comment, even if you don't like it, you know, it, it helps me. So uh, thanks for watching and uh, I'll see you next time.